Hello friends, in this video we will see how to make an intermittent gear assembly in SOLIDWORKS. So let us start, go to file, new, click on assembly. Ok. Now this will load the assembly work environment. Simply cancel begin assembly. Select the right plane and sketch on this. So we will simply draw a 3 circle over here. Okay, so after that we will smart dimension this circle as 40 mm. Okay, now we will select this circle and this one and make the tangent relation. Again we will select these two, again making the tangent relation. Okay, now we will select the circle one by one each and we will use the equal constraint over here. Ok. Now we will select the center point one by one each and make the horizontal relation. Ok. So simply exit the sketch. Now we will go to design library toolbox add in now this toolbox. So we will go to the power ISO from here we will choose power transmission gears and from this we will take the spur gear. So the spur gear you can see for the spur gear some data to the left where you can see the 2 mm will be the module for this gear number of teeth on it 20 pressure angle 20 degree face width 12 nominal shaft diameter 20 ok so I will keep the thing as it is. Simply cancel this insert component. Now this component will be fixed. Right click on it and make it float. Now what we will do, we will select this circle and we will open a part. So it will open into the part environment. So it will, so we will make some changes in this gear. We will remove some of its teeth. So simply select this face and sketch on it. We will make it normal too. Ok. Now we will simply select a center line over here. Select this point and this point and simply escape. Now we will select the three point arc over this. We simply select the three point arc. Select this point and this point. Ok. Now we will select this face and this arc. And we will apply cordial relation between them. So it will be the cordially. Simply say ok. Now go to the feature. Go to the extruded cut. Now here will do the flip side cut and will keep the thickness to be 12 because the 12 will be the face width of this gear. So simply say ok. Now here you can see the teeth of the gear are removed. So this gear is called as the intermittent gear and we will save this gear. So file save as will save wherever you want you can save this gear so i will save by name intermittent okay now simply cancel this close this now here in assembly work environment you can see the teeth are removed now we'll go to design library again we we'll load two more spur gear over here. So they are of same data. So we'll keep the data same. Okay. We want one more. Simply cancel this. Now we'll go for the assembly mate over here. Simply select the mate. Simply select inner face and this face. Make coincentric mate. Okay. Now go to the right plane and simply select the back face of this. 
and make the coincident meet. Now simply select the inner face and the circle making the concentric meet again. This face and this face making the coincident meet. Again select this inner face circle making the coin concentric meet. Select this face and this face making the coincident meet. Okay. Okay. Now after mate we will hide this sketch. So right click and hide this sketch. We will give some appearances to this gear. So simply select this middle gear. I will give it appearances. Again go appearances. Select this one and I will give it this one. Okay. Again go to appearances. Select the middle one, last one, gear, and we'll give it the appearances to be this one, right? Now we'll simply go and make it normal too. Sorry, we'll select this face and make it normal too. Now we'll try to move this intermittent gear with the physical contact. So move the go to move component. Select here physical dynamics. So we'll move this component and see what will happen. We simply move this one in this way. You can see last gear is meshing over here. Right now the gears are meshing over here. After the disengagement, this gear will stop. Now first gear will mesh. So it will start rotating in this way. So this is with what physical contact. So move this one. Okay. So this is what the intermittent gear assembly. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching.